about a five hour drive back home and to get this new little small called Asian otter <coughs> female back at the house. Well, he found his girlfriend. First of all, yeah, she doesn't know what a ball is. She's gonna start freaking flipping with it. got home as you can hear Benny and all the animals in the back and his little girl has been hiding inside of her little crate so we're gonna just take her out and see if she wants to come out on her own come here little girl come here come here little girl hey pretty girl it's okay she doesn't know who the heck I am. She's definitely very nervous and she's definitely hungry. So we're gonna get her some water, some food, and let her just be calm and relax. She don't have to get used to all the noises. That's just something that's gonna be calming for her. She'll be living in the house and in her outdoor enclosure for the next two months until their complete enclosure is done. We're just waiting for the end of January for a beautiful, amazing pond that we getting revealed when that time comes. Right, little girl, come here. Come here, little girl. She is definitely hungry. She smells the food and she smells the water. Come on, little girl, I know you want some. So we got a little bit of trout, some tilapia, and a little bit of ferret diet in there. And I'm gonna keep on talking so that she's used to me. So she's not nervous at all. But it looks identical as Oliver, I'll tell you that much. She definitely already smells it. It's okay, pretty girl. She is very nervous. You can see her eyes getting all the noises and everything. Come on, pretty girl. Come and eat. Go eat. She smells it. She's hungry. I'm not gonna hurt you, I promise. I'm sure you heard dog before. And in two days, you're gonna meet your boyfriend. I promise. I think it'll be fine. There you go, one more foot. There you go, you can smell it. It's okay, baby girl. 
You bit a lot of people yesterday. <laughs> they're very curious, so you know how they're gonna go. They're gonna touch everything, smell everything, put their feet in everything. Put down in the comments, you guys, what we should name this gorgeous little girl. Oh, she is hungry, look at her. She is hungry. She's like, give me that, give me that tilapia. Well, that's a good sign. She's been here for literally five, 10 minutes and she wants that food. She was a hungry little girl. Oh yeah, look at that face. Look at that face. Is she cute or what? She got some big old chompers, I'll tell you that much. That's a good girl. We won't hurt you, I promise. Look at that face, oh my goodness. First ball. Yeah, she doesn't know what a ball is. She's gonna start freaking flipping with it. Look, <laughs> two seconds. Already grabbing the ball. She said, I'm bringing that ball right into my nest. It's my ball. It's been another uh, five minutes and she's already taken off, smelling, looking everywhere. Ate more, made another mess. And she's just being an otter. Right, little girl? She maybe put a pee pee pad down to see if we could get her to get potty trained quickly. Cause she looks like she's gonna go right there by her. The dog feed. Well, he found his girlfriend. <laughs> I think they're rubbing each other's scents on pretty well. That's it, they're best friends forever now. So we got Oliver and Callie inside of their little outdoor playpen area. And obviously this is just a temporary playpen area until their whole entire enclosure gets done. Callie was scared to come outside of the house, but as long as Oliver went, she came with him and she followed him around. She, this is the first time being outside here on the ranch, smelling everything. We're filling up a small water bowl area right now just for Callie so she could just swim into this while Oliver can swim inside the big tub over there. Oliver loves just splashing water and everything. Callie's a little bit different, but you know, just hanging out and doing her thing. She's learning to be an otter just like he is. I remember I taught Oliver almost everything. So now Callie has to learn everything from Oliver, but Callie did learn a lot from her own parents because she was more mother raised compared to Oliver, which was raised by me. That's where Oliver started, was that little tub right there. And he's inside that tub right there. It's only about 250 gallons. And they will be going into a fun little surprise right here. A 25 by 25 Aquascape ecosystem coming soon. Stay tuned. It's going to be insane. Four feet deep. Over 10,000 gallons. I mean, an absolute beast of a pond for these beautiful otters that which they're going to get. Very, very natural little pond. See, she's not as much water friendly as he is. Oh, look, there she goes. She's in it. Oh, let's grab the rock. <laughs> they love the rocks. There we go. Looks like her first time being in the water, too. Hanging out, doing their thing. Being otter. 
and you see how we have all these wood planks and everything for Oliver to climb and everything? So the way I want to design his new enclosure is definitely not going to be like this. It's going to be with natural logs, not fence posts. Really nice, big, giant logs to climb on to make it as natural as it can be with some big oaks and cypress and everything. It'll be really, really neat. At least she's putting her head in the water. Oh, look, she's in the water. There she goes. She's learning to be an otter, and now she's getting that nice UVB sunlight being outside, doing her thing as well, which is what we needed. So I'm going to let that water stay at that level, and now I'm just going to lift this up and put it into here so that can fill up over there. Look at that. Oliver and Callie both swimming in the water. They look so cute with each other. First time being in the water together. Oh, now she's really liking it. She's already swimming. See, I didn't know if she was swimming at her old facility or not. So that's what was my worry. So I wanted to make sure she was able to swim and do all her things first before we uh, let her go into the little bigger pond that's right there. And then eventually we'll take her out with Oliver once she starts trusting us more to go and follow us to the aquascape ecosystems around the ranch. But aren't they cute? Oliver and Callie. Look at that, they're just swimming around in there. Make sure you guys are giving this video a thumbs up because now this is absolutely adorable right here. Look at them go. So it's been about a week or so now since we've had um, the new otter here on the ranch with Oliver and the new otter's name, if we haven't mentioned it already, her name is Callie. It's morning here. We already fed him. I'll tell you guys one thing. You guys think otters are amazing. You think they're great, they're cool, they're beautiful, they're such great animals. They really are. I'll tell you one thing. They get into everything and they destroy everything. They are not household animals at all. They need a large, large enclosure. They need ponds, they need all that stuff. And they have a pretty strict diet as well. Um, these guys are just uh, pain in the butt talks. They love each other now, which is exactly the reason why we got Oliver a girlfriend and they just play all day long. They're inside the house for a couple hours and then they go outside inside of their uh, playpen area where you guys just saw a few minutes ago. That was a couple days ago. But like I said, and I mentioned, we have a massive pond coming for them very soon and we have their building as you saw as well. So they're gonna be getting a very, very legit massive enclosure in the next couple months. But as of right now, they live in the house and they destroy everything. So I'll tell you one thing, they took, let me flip the camera. They took all of my mom's baseboards off completely. They go into all of the bottom cabinets because they love to have holes. They just grab everything. They somehow figured out how to go inside here and this is their nest. They're inside of this water area all the time. There's, there's stuff all in here. The stuff is all in here. Toys and everything. They just sleep in here all the time. This is their spot. They love this spot so much. Close it up and I'll be out in a second. Where's Oliver? And there he is. See what I mean? Dishwasher destroyed. Ripped up the whole thing. Wires are gone. Everything's gone. But yep, that's what's having the two otters inside the house. This. So Callie's still trying to learn the process of coming. She's still nervous. She likes the house more. Oliver has said, "Screw you." I'm staying over there. And Oliver's inside of here, having a freaking blast in the water right now. We're draining out the water at the same time and. He is playing in the water faucet. He loves it a lot. Oh, here she comes. Callie, come here. Come here, Callie. Come here, Callie. Callie, no. Callie, this way. Come on. Come on, Callie. No. 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 Come on, Callie. Oliver's inside there. Callie. Callie, no. No pool, Callie. No. That way. No. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. What happened? Oh, what the hell? oh, Oliver said, screw that, I'm out. And there they are, both of them inside the little pond. If you guys are enjoying the otter videos, let me know down in the comments right now. I want to know what you guys want to see next to do with Oliver and Callie, because we have our beautiful pair of small clawed agent otters here on the ranch. And again, I wanted to mention one more time. Obviously, these are not pets for everyone. They're not animals for everyone. They still are exotic animals. And they can't be care of it. So make sure before you go out and buy yourself an exotic animal or something like that, do your research.
make sure you do your research and make sure your state's allowed to have them. Make sure you have your permits. Do all your things you're supposed to do because you get in a lot, a lot of trouble if you do the wrong thing. And again, the animals are going to be living for a very, very long time and they don't really get older and age and calm down. So what he is right now, the one to two year old stage is what he's going to be for the next 10 to 15 years. Exactly like that. A freaking nut show. So you always want to make sure you know what you're doing. Craziness. Hey! But yeah, they're there. They're doing their thing. And uh, we'll be ending this video soon. So right now we just gave him lunch. And Callie right there is munching down on a little bit of trout. So for today for lunch was a little bit of ferret diet. A little bit of trout. One carrot each and two green beans each. So this is what they eat for lunch. They get fed three times a day still. Uh, I know people that feed them three, and I know people that feed them two times a day. Probably eventually when they're complete full adults, we'll probably just feed them two times a day, morning and night, just like how I feed my dogs. But uh, other than that, yeah, that's what we're doing right now. So they're all eating, they're doing good, and they're eating with no problem, no fighting, no nothing. They grab the food, they throw it up in the air, but they start chewing it all up. Callie's doing very, very well compared to when you guys saw at the beginning of the video of how she just uh, was nervous and everything, but now... They're just doing their thing. And Oliver is a year old now, you guys. So he's pretty much exactly full size. That's all he's going to get. And so she will be a little bit smaller because the males do get a little bit bigger, which is pretty cool. So that is the comparison of what a adult small cloud Asian otter would be and a nice lean one too. You don't want them to be too fat because that's not healthy either. In the wild, they're not going to be fat. They're always running. They're always moving. And they're gonna be lean because they're always hunting. So having a more of a leaner animal instead of a fat animal is definitely a lot better for the animal and healthier lifestyle for them. You hear all the noises biting into the bones and everything. That's what you want them to do. If they're not biting the bones, eating all that, that's the extra calciums and everything that's in them. Oliver's a lot, lot, lot more pickier than she is, but hopefully she will teach him to eat other stuff as well, because he just really likes frog legs, trout, tilapia, and that's kind of it, but she kind of eats everything in her bowls, which is very, very well. Check them out. Such cool little creatures. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video here at Blake's Out Again Adventures. It's been absolutely freaking everywhere, going in and out of different parts of the video. The reason why is because I wanted to make sure that we got a bunch of different clips of Oliver and Callie from picking her up from about a week and a half ago to now. And this video will be posted the next day once we edit it all up and all those cool things. I like to make it as real as it could be for you guys in the videos and just make it like a vlog, but like a YouTube video all at the same time, which is really cool. And again, they're having an absolute blast in there. I mean, they're just going... Ham inside of there. They love that water and they have each other now, so that's exactly what the goal was to pair them up. But give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We're almost at a million subscribers, which is really, really awesome. Appreciate it. I wouldn't be able to do it without you all. And uh, see you guys later. Peace out.